In this experiment, children and chimpanzees learn to balance L-shaped blocks upside down. It's a difficult task that requires good manual coordination, but this boy has got the hang of it. And so has the chimpanzee. Good job, man. Now the experimenter does something sneaky. He substitutes one of the blocks for a weighted one that won't balance. Good job, man. Good job. The chimpanzee believes the block will stand up and keeps trying and trying and trying although the chimps will continually attempt to stand up the block and will go to great lengths to make it stand up maybe even occasionally doing something as smart as that uh, the one thing they won't do is to turn the block over as if attempting to explore some reason why this system keeps failing But what happens when a child tries the same thing? He realizes something is wrong immediately and investigates. Not only do we instinctively know there's a problem, we want to know why. Apes don't seem to take that next step. For the first of our ancestors millions of years ago, our ability to ask questions and think laterally was a great leap forward. We no longer relied on trial and error. We began to predict how objects behave. It was a quantum leap on our march to the top of the evolutionary tree. But our desire to understand our world is only part of the puzzle. The real key to our success lies hidden somewhere in the development of our brains. We're looking for the magic ingredients that separates humans from the great apes. Somehow we humans have left apes far behind to dominate the planet. There's just a few percent difference in DNA between humans and apes, yet we have developed a sophisticated technological culture. The apes are still bashing sticks and swinging from tree to tree. We know we're different. The question is, what changed in us that never happened in our nearest cousins? The answer lies deep within the human brain. One difference between ape and human brains is sheer size. By the time we're adults, our brain will be three times the size of a chimpanzee's. Along with this large brain comes an extremely powerful memory. All of us can remember millions of pieces of information. In fact, we generally assume we have the best memories on the planet. Think again. You are about to witness one of the most incredible feats of memory ever filmed. And it's not human. Professor Tetsuro Matsuzawa at the Kyoto Primate Research Institute in Japan has devised a memory test for the chimpanzees. His star pupil is a seven-year-old chimpanzee. Show him the numbers one to nine and he'll put them in the right order, pointing to them one by one. 
Every time he gets it right, he receives a treat, a tiny piece of apple or half a raisin. But now, the researchers make things difficult. As soon as the chimp presses the number one, the rest of the numbers are hidden. He has to remember where the numbers were and press the white squares in numerical order. The positioning of the numbers is totally random. He gets it right time after time with lightning speed and 100% accuracy. In 0.65 seconds, he can remember the numerals in which numerals in which position. Now it's your turn. Did you get them? No? Try again. This time we'll run the sequence at half speed. Still too difficult? Try at a quarter speed. Back to full speed and you get an idea of how extraordinary this chimpanzee's memory is. So how do humans compare? No one knows why, but children tend to be better than adults at this sort of short-term memory task. We've asked some nine-year-olds to have a go. They take a lot longer studying the numbers before they start. And even then, most of the time, they only get four or five right. Occasionally, they do a little better. Not bad. But now watch the chimpanzee again. It seems that chimp's short-term memory is superior to ours. Scientists believe the chimpanzee's short-term memory helps it survive. They can take an instant inventory of their surroundings, locate food and avoid enemies. Our common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees may have had such a capability of immediately memorize the things at a glance. Scientists think we lost this instant memory in a trade-off for a far more powerful mental ability. This trade-off represents one of the most important breakthroughs in human development. Language. Language is the glue that holds human society together. We can express our joy and pain. We share ideas. We work together towards common goals. Apes are physically pretty similar to humans, so are they capable of human language? In the 1950s, two primate researchers, Keith and Catherine Hayes, tried to teach a baby chimpanzee to speak English. One difference between us and chimps is that their larynx is a different shape. The chimp has to hold her nose to make some sounds. Despite all their efforts, after six years, this chimp only learnt to speak four words. No, no, do this. Mama? Papa? Papa? Papa. Papa. Up. And cup. They may not be able to speak English, but do apes speak their own language? In the wild, chimpanzees make a lot of noise and use very distinct sounds. But does it mean anything? Is it language? According to Professor Matsuzawa, chimpanzee vocalizations are different to those of humans. Humans make sounds only when they breathe out. Chimpanzees make sound when they breathe out, but also when they breathe in. <laughs> 